add tens, we're going to use models. This is lesson 8.2. We can add tens with models, adding groups of ten. Here we've got three groups of ten, that's thirty, and one group of ten, that's ten. We can add them one, two, three, four tens. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Three tens plus one ten is four tens, and four tens are forty. The add ends do not have ones. See how there's no ones in the ones place? So the sum will not have ones. We can draw to show tens. We can write the sum. We can write how many tens. We can say that each of these long lines is a ten. We have four tens plus two tens is equal to six tens. Forty plus twenty is equal to sixty. Sixty is six tens. We can even count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Two tens plus five tens is equal to seven tens. 20 plus 50 is equal to 70. 70 is seven tens. We can count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Here we have four tens plus four tens. Four plus four is eight, so four tens plus four tens is equal to eight tens. Forty plus forty is equal to eighty. 80 is 8 tens. We can count by tens starting with 40. We know this is 40. 50, 60, 70, 80. 80. Each long blue line is a 10. We have 5 tens plus 4 tens. 5 plus 4 is 9. 50 plus 40 is equal to 90. 90 is 9 tens. We can start with 50 and count by tens. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now here we have a puzzle. It says complete the web. Write the missing add-in to get a sum of 70. So here's our sum right here, 70. We need to go outward and think of a number that when added together is going to give us a sum of 70. Can you think of a number that we can add with 30 that will give us 70? We can start with the three tens and count on to seven tens. Three tens is 30. 40, 50, 60, 70. That would be four tens. Four tens is a 40. 30 plus 40 is equal to 70. Three tens plus four tens is equal to seven tens. What can we add to 60 that will give us a sum of 70? We have six tens and we need seven tens. We only need one more 10, don't we? To go from six to seven, so we need one 10. What do we need to add to 50 to have a sum of 70? We have five tens and we need seven tens. We can start with the five tens and count on to seven tens, five tens, six tens, seven tens. We need two tens and two tens are 20. 
50 plus 20 is equal to 70. What number can we add with 0 to have a sum of 70? Remember, when you add 0, the number stays the same. To get a sum of 70, if we're adding 0, we must need to add 70. 70 plus 0 is 70. 7 tens plus 0 tens is 7 tens. Now we can use the answers that we have already given to help us finish the puzzle. 20 plus what number is equal to 70? Do you see it here? Here we have 20 and a 50. 20 plus 50 is equal to 70. So we could put a 50 here. The other answer helped us. 40 plus some number is equal to 70. Do you see a 40 in the problems that we've already finished? I see one right here. We added it to 30. This must be 30 here. 40 plus 30 is equal to 70. 4 tens plus 3 tens is equal to 7 tens. What about here? We have a 10. What did we add to 10 to have a sum of 70? Do you see it in the other part of the puzzle? It's right here. We added 60. So 60 will go here. We were able to use answers that we had already found to help us finish the puzzle. Our next lesson is subtract tens. We just added tens, now we're going to subtract tens. That's lesson 8.3. We're going to be using place value to add tens in lesson 8.7 in a few videos. Right now we're just using models and counters, okay? Just to get us started. So you can practice adding tens. You can pretend that each finger is a 10. And you can say 10, 20, 30, and count by tens and add tens. You can make your own models of 10 and practice. I'll see you next time. Bye.